welcome or welcome back to my channel we are back with another alternate day fasting video and today it is a what i eat in a day while alternate day fasting for fat loss while we're still nourishing our body so if you do enjoy this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and enjoy After I finish with my workout, I usually just cool down while I enjoy myself a nice full glass of water to quench my thirst and it also helps me to cool down and it helps me to hydrate my body first thing in the morning. After my workout of the day, I decided to make myself one of my favorite quick breakfasts which is oatmeal with some oats milk and some cinnamon to nourish my body and basically that's what I have cooking up here on the stove you guys I also went ahead and add some fruits to it the only thing I had in my fridge was a banana so there you have it I also went ahead and I added a scoop of peanut butter and a handful of nuts. So for my lunch you guys, I'm just about to make a very simple lunch which is gonna be a hot girl salad. Pinterest put me on, Pinterest made me do it. So. Basically, it's just supposed to be this very simple salad that's supposed to keep you full and don't we just love it? We love that for us. The fact that we can still eat and still be full and not have to starve ourselves, yet we're still able to lose weight. So this salad is very simple. All you need is red onions, um, bell pepper, cucumber, and I think banana peppers and also boiled eggs. However, for mine, I did not have um, boiled egg with my salad because, girl, I was just too hungry and I was not willing to wait that long, okay? So, you guys, after you add it in a bowl, you can just add whatever toppings you want on there. And also, I forgot to mention, I did not find banana peppers, so I added artichokes to mine. And, um, yeah. If you guys do decide to give this a try or if you know about it, please let me know in the comment section down below. And for the dressing, you guys, I decided to try this Italian zesty dressing. It only has five calories and we love that for us. And last minute, you guys, I decided to add my own little twist to the salad. It wouldn't be me if I didn't. Of course, I added some marinated chicken breast to it and it was so yummy and to my belly it went. I definitely enjoyed the salad. If you know about it, let me know how you like it in the comment section down below. And if you have not, you should definitely go ahead and give it a try. I just love Pinterest, just pretty pictures and some recipes here and there and vibes. So after my lunch, I decided to spend a few hours studying. That's what I'm doing here. So at this point, you guys, I was really craving some tacos and I just made a run to my local grocery store just to grab some of the ingredients. So now we are home, we are in our kitchen, and um, we are getting ready to make some tacos so we can satisfy our taco craving. And you guys, I'm just going to be chopping up all the ingredients that I need so I can make my homemade taco. I just want to say this, I do not have any specific diet that I follow on my eating days or should I say feasting days I know some people like to refer to their eating days as that but I prefer not to because 
I feel like it's all about your mindset and if I refer to my eating days as a feast then I'm just gonna be eating up everything and I have done it before so I prefer to say my eating days that way I just eat you know just to satisfy my cravings So now you guys, I'm adding my shrimp and I'm also adding chicken into the pan because I was craving chicken and shrimp taco and I'm also adding the seasoning so that way we can make some bomb ass homemade taco you guys. I decided to have chicken and shrimp because why the heck not? So you guys, I decided to add some lime juice while my chicken has been thoroughly cooked on each side. I eat pretty much whatever I want you guys on my eating days and I find that's what really helps me to keep going on this alternate day fasting journey. And I think that can help you as well on your ADF journey is to not be too harsh on yourself. You just deprive yourself of literally all the calories that you could take in one day so why not eat what you're really craving the next day so if i was craving taco on my feast fasting day then you best believe the next day on my eating day i'm gonna have some taco and that's exactly what i did you guys i'm only making two because i was the only one home my son went to his dad for the weekend and pretty much everyone else was gone so this is only dinner for one and don't mind the noise you guys from my laptop is because I've been editing for some time now and my computer is literally um, heating and if you have a MacBook you already know so the video has to be up by Friday y'all I'm trying to be consistent okay so just bear with me just trying to ignore the noise please in my raspy voice because I think I mentioned that I'm sick already Just like that you guys my delicious dinner is ready I have my tacos that I'm ready to eat that are ready to be enjoyed and I try to avoid any screen time when I'm eating like my phone and TV I think I read an article once that said that um, we do not um, like we're not aware when we eating sometimes we're hungry it's because our brain thinks we didn't eat and it's because we were so busy we were doing so many things at once while we were eating and I thought about that and I was like wow that is so true so I decided you guys when I eat to really be present in the moment to actually enjoy my food to actually savor it and yeah so that's really been helping me honestly to feel fuller and to stay fuller for a long period of time because i think i just give my brain the time to really connect and to know that you know i'm eating right now so i just thought i should share that with you guys and lastly you guys although i don't count my calorie but i do try to not exceed a 3000 calories limit on my eating days and I hope you did enjoy this what I eat in a day while alternate day fasting and I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>